Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So you may recall I did this swipe. Um, it was kind of a failed pour and then I saved it by doing this swipe. And if you missed that video, I will put the link in the description. But when I was finished with this, what I saw was basically a reflective forest with a sunset over here. Like the sun's kind of coming through the trees. So what I'm going to do is actually add some embellishments onto here. And I like doing really simple embellishments. I think sometimes that can just be what's needed to bring a picture out. So on my brush here, I just have some regular black acrylic paint. And I'm going to go ahead and basically just add some fun embellishments to this painting. Namely, a, an actual forest. And to me, this is the water. It's reflective. I wanted to definitely keep this yellow part up at the top. And I'm not going to go all the way across, I think, just to about here. So I'm just kind of dabbing the black paint. This is um, Artist Loft Ivory Black for anyone who wants the specifics. This is kind of going to be from a distance, not going to be a, a close up. So a little bit abstract. And I don't want to cover up too much of the painting if possible. So I'm just kind of doing a rough ground here. And obviously foresty kind of grounds aren't really flat so I'm kind of giving it a little bit of life bring this part down a little more okay I think that's okay I don't want to get too complicated on it and like I said I don't want to take up too much of the painting so now I'm going to go ahead and get started on some trees and I'm just using another a little detail brush and I'm going to water down my black paint just a little bit. So I'm going to mm -hmm, kind of decide as I go. Let's see. This paint is actually a little too thick, I think. These are not going to be huge trees. All right, and then of course, when doing something like this, don't forget the reflection. And I'm going to fade that out just a little bit. Okay, try to make it as long as your original one. I'm kind of looking for breaks in the cells where I can kind of add some trees and I haven't exactly decided how many trees I want to add so I'm kind of imagining this being closer and this being kind of more far away so I'm going to have them go a little bit smaller mostly as we go out and this is kind of just to start with, I may, I may add more as I go. We're just kind of trying to keep it simple. And let me know, guys, what you think of tutorials like this. If you like seeing the actual kind of painting tutorials. I've been having some fun with embellishments recently. Okay, so I think that's pretty good to start with. All right, I have this um, stippling brush and you can see that the ends are really fanned out. 
So stipple is you're basically putting a bunch of little dots on it. So I'm going to take some of this black. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I almost totally forgot something. I'm going to add some branches on here. Sorry about that. It is kind of late at night. So because I'm going to be um, putting the leaves and stuff on here, I'm just going really kind of basic with the branches. Not getting too crazy in there. And when doing branches, don't be afraid to have some overlapping. Obviously, if trees are actually next to each other, they're definitely going to have things overlapping. You can add some in your reflection if you want to. I think I will. But remember, it is a reflection, so try not to make it as pretty, I guess. And don't, I'm not going to worry about, like, identically copying <laughs> the um, branches because that would, that's just, would be a little too long. You could if you want to, though, if you really want to take the time to identically copy the branches, definitely go for it. So just keeping some really simple branches here. If you are putting branches on the reflection though, do try to make them at least equal di distances on the trunks which I'm attempting to do to the best of my ability. I don't think anyone's going to double check to make sure I did a good job. I'm gonna add a little water, more water to my brush. And I'm definitely not trying to make this be like hours long or anything. I actually normally speed up the branches when I do trees, but I kind of thought Maybe do a slightly longer video where you guys can kind of more see the process. Once again, let me know in the comments what you kind of think of this kind of painting. And if you would prefer something like this to just be sped up. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Okay, so back to my stippling brush. Sorry, I almost forgot it. I am just going to kind of lightly dab on some of these trees. Once again, not going too crazy. You certainly do not have to touch on every single tree and every single branch or anything like that. You can fill it in as much or as little as you want. I am going to add a little bit in the reflection as well, but less, remember, reflection. Okay. I guess while I'm doing this, I can kind of just talk to you guys. Let me know down in the comments where you're watching from. Um, and also, of course, if you enjoy embellishment videos, I would love to know. As if so, I can definitely do some more of them. And I do have, so this is just black. Thus far, I've done nothing but black. I do have a little bit of gold, though, that I plan on adding near the end for some highlights. Because I am, like I said, imagining that sun kind of peeking in from this side. I thought about doing it as like a forest fire, but decided it would just be a nice sunset. I think we need, we've had a lot of uh, crazy times recently, so we need happier paintings and a forest fire may not be the happiest right this second. Get a little more water in here. And I have my lowly Vefe mat under here. I saw someone else's video with one of these recently and their space was so clean. Uh, an artist I very, very much admire. And I kind of laughed to myself. 
because I am the opposite. I'm so bad. Okay. Don't worry, I didn't forget these guys. Definitely, definitely not perfect reflections, but I like that. Okay, so I am going to get in here with a little bit of gold, like I said. I'm just quickly rinsing out this same brush. And the gold that I'm using is my favorite gold. It is the Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 Karat Gold. I love it. It is so, so sparkly and metallic. So I'm just going to dip my same stippling brush into there. And I'm going to do just a little bit on some of the branches over here. Not too much. And kind of be careful because you can definitely get some mud. So just a little bit. And you know what? I think I'm also going to do just a little bit down here as well. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay, so there's like some golden grass down here. All right, all right. I can dig it. Cool. So I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to keep it nice and simple. I'm going to go ahead and just sign this. If I do a, a painting painting, I sign it on the front. If I do an abstract painting where it could be hang, hung in multiple directions, I sign it on the back. That's another frequent question. All right. And just a couple of these branches, sorry, are bothering me. I'm just going to fix up a couple and then we'll do our close up. It's good because I actually have a little bit of the gold still on here. So it's kind of giving a little bit of a different color than just the black, which I like. Okay. You can do other things if you want. You can add more bushes, you can add more trees. Let's leave it at that. All right, do our close up. Okay. So here's our trees. Very, very simple. Here's our reflections. And there we go. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video, and I'll see you all next time.